Hello everyone, you're watching Sprint Timber Graphics. In this video, we'll quickly learn how to create an anime gradient webcam frame for your live streams and videos. This could be a free additional element that would add an extra layer of branding to your channel, so why not start using it right now? Without further talking, let's jump straight to the tutorial. Let's create a new 1920 by 1080 composition. I'm naming it Frame. Once inside here, make sure your shape tool is set to rectangle tool and your fill is set to none and stroke is set to solid color and give your stroke a width of 30 pixels for now. Then double click the shape tool. This will create a nice frame with the right aspect ratio that we need. Then rename your shape layer to frame to stay organized. Then select it, press S to reveal the scale properties and set the scale to 70%. At this point, select your frame layer, go to layer, layer styles, and select gradient overlay. Then bring down the properties of gradient overlay here. And here where it says colors, click on edit gradient. And here you're free to choose any color that you like. For the start color, I'm choosing this purple. For the end color, choosing this greenish color. Click OK once you're done selecting the colors. Then go to the angle section, set the angle to zero for now. Go to the beginning of your timeline, create a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. Then go to the end of your timeline and set this value to one. By doing this, our gradient colors will be making one full rotation throughout our composition. At this point, our work here is done. Select our frame and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Rename it to Glow and bring uh, the glow layer under our frame layer. Then go to effects and presets, search for Gaussian blur, and apply it to the glow layer. Increase the blurness value until you see a fit. I'll set it to 200. This will give our frame a nice glow effect. Next step will be to select our glow layer, press T for opacity, and alt click the stopwatch. Here, type wiggle, and inside the parentheses, Type 1, comma, 50. Then click away. This will give our glow layer an additional animation. So sometimes it'll go dim and then it will come back. All right. So you could select the glow layer now and increasing the stroke will make the glow effect more intensive. You can see. So you can play around with it on your own and leave it where you see a fit. I'm going to set it to 50. At this point, you could add your logo to the frame. Let me bring my logo. Place your logo either on top or on the bottom. I personally like it to be on the bottom. You could do the same with your logo to give it some glow. Because you can see, depending on your logo, my logo is sort of dark, so dark colors don't really glow that well. Select your logo, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and apply Gaussian Blur to the bottom layer. And again. Set the value to like 200-ish. That'll give our logo a subtle glow effect. We could go one step further and go to Effects and Presets, search for Glow. It'll be under Stylize. And apply it to the top layer. And just leaving like that, you'll see that it'll be glowing a bit. So if we preview this, you'll see our webcam is pretty much done and ready to be exported and used in any software that you like. At this point, I think our tutorial is complete. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.